welcome back to our channel. Today we are in Chiang Rai, and tomorrow morning we'll be exploring some of the many beautiful temples in the area. We arrived here by bus from Chiang Mai late this afternoon, so we are heading first to a huge local night market for dinner, and a little bit of shopping. This night market is called Chiang Rai Night Bazaar. We tried some local dishes like Pad Rat Na, Khao Soi. Khao Soi is insane. It's a noodle soup that is creamy, spicy, and full of flavor. Then we walked around and uh, checked out some of the souls. So we have from this little one, we managed to get some cheese ball with some sriracha mayo on top, I believe. But I hope it's Cuban as well. Um, we got some beers and now we're gonna try everything. We got some um, traditional dishes as well. So we just arrived in Chiang Rai. The view from our This is the place. Obsessed. We're gonna go and explore some temples Yay! today. So we just arrived at our first temple of the day, the White Temple. We're gonna explore around. Guys, it's stunning. It's insanely beautiful. The white is like so pure and so bright. I did not expect it. So the reason that it's actually white um, is because it's representing the purity of the Buddha, the white color. And then there's mirrors and it sparkles everywhere. And the mirrors are basically to reflect on the teachings of the Buddha. So it's really, really beautiful. One of the unique features of the White Temple is its incorporation of contemporary art and pop culture references that stand alongside the traditional Buddhist design. The temple's founder and artist is known for its fusion of these two very different subjects.
I think it's to represent like the life of Buddha and like his practice growing in. Okay, between the. bridges in the White Temple and uh, it's very well known for the hands reaching up. The actual bridge represents the crossing from the world of suffering to the world of enlightenment. So, we uh, just finished going into the temple, absolutely yeah. stunning. It's really interesting because it's just been finished in 1997, uh, which means it's kind of like a modern take on a temple. You've got a lot of like pulp fiction, um, you know, art around and interesting things that wouldn't usually go as an example. Uh-huh. But honestly, it's still absolutely stunning, breathtaking to look at. Hi fella. Just grab a little matcha latte break. Just talking about how we kind of think that the decorative parts look Excuse a little the bit tree. one dimensional. Almost like origami if you will. So you've got like very flat one dimensional decoration. I just think it's so interesting. Love it. Let's roll. So the Blue Temple is actually known as the Temple of the Flying Tiger and it used to be a different temple that they renovated, so let's check it out. The blue colour of the temple is actually really interesting. Typically they go for more of a gold colour, um, but this one was meant to represent like the minimalistic aspect of Buddhism. Like smoke. It's always respectful to wear something to cover your shoulders and knees when entering the temples and always remove your shoes at all times. And also it's not like circular, like around, it's just hexagonal or something. What are those? Like, I want it. As a fire pit. What's the inference? Is that female? Yeah. I see, this one has a beard, no beard. So now we're entering to the Goddess of Mercy statue here in Shanghai.
Yes. Elevator. Thank God, because it's so sweaty and it's 25 flights of stairs otherwise. So basically we are at the 25th floor and we're actually going to have a look from, from the third eye of the statue. The Goddess of Mercy statue is a Bodhisattva, which is anyone on the path to becoming a Buddha. She's also sometimes depicted having a thousand arms or a thousand eyes, which allows her to help more people at the same time. There's also a nine-tiered pagoda on the grounds. We did make it all the way to the top, and each level has different statues and carvings of the Buddha and different monks. We had an incredible time in Chiang Rai exploring all the different temples. You probably noticed Jessie wasn't in the videos today because she was feeling a little under the weather, but I hope she'll feel like she didn't miss a moment by watching this video. Thank you all for watching and supporting us as always. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.